Hi, this is Christy Peterson with Christy Peterson Photography, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you the differences between using my fairy wing brushes and my fairy wing overlays and how to use both of those. So I'm going to start out with the brushes first. So I'm going to click on the brush tool and go up here to the little arrow and then to the gear thing and then click load brushes. And then it will need to navigate to where you have uh, the brushes selected or saved. And then I'm going to select, just double click on it, and then that's going to load them into my brush palette. Then when I'm ready to use one, I select which one I want to use. I'm going to grab the color picker and take a color from the fairy costume and click on it and make sure it's light enough. So click on the color swatch and then go back to my brushes. I'm going to create a new layer. And then I'm going to use the bracket key, the right bracket key, to make it larger or smaller. And I'm going to just go kind of right in the middle of where the picture is. And I'm going to do Control T because I want this rotated just a little bit. And then I'm going to move it back to attach it. Look like it's back there by her shoulder blade. Down a little bit. So hold the shift key to keep the aspect ratio, the size ratio. And if it ever acts kind of sticky, hit hold the control key down or um, command one at a time. And then you can enter or click on the check mark and it will make it. Okay, then I'm going to go edit, transform, and distort. And that's going to allow me to move the wing back a little bit to look more natural and to look straight out. Then I'm going to OK it, approve it. And my wings don't come with a right and a left wing because it's kind of pointless. I'm just going to do Control J and that's going to duplicate it. And I'm going to go Edit, Transform, and Flip Horizontal. And then grab my Move tool and move it over. And I'm going to add a mask to each of these layers. And I'm going to name the wings just so I know which one I'm on. I'm going to, I like to name them like camera right or camera left. So left wing and right wing. And I'm going to grab the soft round brush. A little smaller. First I'm going to zoom in by hitting the V key and then my mouse down a little closer. Okay, go back to brush and click on the mask of the layer for the wing and make sure black is on top for her. And then I'm going to mask out what I don't want. Okay, I'm going to do that for both. That is how you do the brushes. Alright, um, I probably would make, like to move this left wing back just to see a little bit more. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to just delete those two layers and then I'm going to show you overlay. Alright, so my overlay set has a JPEG that accompanies each PNG overlay so that you can see what each wing looks like so you can um, make your selection easier. Okay, so I'm going to just drag and drop it on there and grab a corner and rotate it. Looks like a good size. I don't know if size it. I click OK. Now, because she's wearing a white dress, that looks good. The overlays are kind of default by white. But if I didn't want it white, I would click the effects down here and click on check select color overlay. Default is red. You just click on that and then you can pick some part of the dress and then go a little lighter and then click OK. And then that is how you change the color of the overlay if you wanted like a very light pink or a very lavender um, wing because that's the color of the dress. And then you just do the same thing. You add a mask and 
select the soft brush and make sure black is on top. Use the bracket keys to adjust the size of your brush and then just paint it off of top of your fairy. Alright, that's it. It's pretty simple. Both ways are simple. I prefer using the brushes because just having to do a color overlay um, is just an extra step that I don't feel is has to be necessary. So I hope you find this useful and thanks for watching.